Hello YouTube! So today we are taking a look at the storage server. A little quick look. Uh, I can't really... Well, wait. I unplugged the phone. See? No charger in it. Then I can show you more of the thing. So what I have done yet is to uh, plug in all the SATA cables but no drives. Uh, the guy that sold me the case uh, missed the drive uh, sled thing over here that screws onto these holes on top of there. So he missed that, so I'm basically shit out of luck, so I need to fabricate one. And I did not catch the case and the drive cover in... Uh, time so yeah I guess I'm shit out of luck uh, I have been uh, sending in messages that I want uh, uh, drive bar or whatever it's called the drive sled thingy and uh, let's see how that goes uh, otherwise uh, I got a system hard drive installed let me show you in there it's the 120 gig laptop drive that will do fine for just uh, the operating system and uh, then I got a DVD ROM installed I don't want a DVD ROM I want nothing installed over there but uh, the plate the cover is missing on the front page on the front side front page what the fuck am I talking about Anyways, one of these covers is missing, so I can't really remove it because it will look like shit. But I'm not that impressed with this power supply, honestly I do think it's crap. You know why? I did measure it and it said that the computer is drawing. 100 fucking watts with uh, only the motherboard and uh, one laptop drive and a DVD ROM. Where the DVD ROM started, it drew 150 watts of power. So, honestly, I think the power supply is crap. I can't see how the motherboard would draw that much power. So what I will do probably is uh, trying to find the cover plate for that um, uh, DVD ROM over there and uh, find one for the floppy drive if anyone has one for a, for a compu case S411 I would be grateful but seeing that I've seen no videos on YouTube I would sincerely doubt it. Anyways. Um, a bit of custom. So here you can see two uh, USB cables. So what I have been thinking about is uh, doing a log backup and not on the hard drive because the hard drive will be the first thing going bad if anything goes bad. So what I did is I installed a memory card reader under the drive cage and this also allows me to put in a regular old uh, USB drive so I can just plug in a USB drive like this and have a USB drive as a storage drive for log files that's pretty sweet but getting this thing down in power range how do I do it uh, Problem is, it has both sound and uh, video built in on the motherboard. I don't like that because I would like to turn those completely off. But uh, seeing that you can disable them, I still think the circuits are powered. I would like to power down those circuits because I don't need them to get the power draw down. So. Uh, power supply I need to swap that uh, maybe need to do something with the motherboard 
I need to uh, either find a low power DVD ROM, lower powered, I might have some, and uh, yeah, give me a tips on how to get this thing even lower powered than now, because when I install uh, two SATA controllers and lots of hard drives in it, it will draw uh, quite a lot of power when all, all the drives are powered, but I will not power all the drives at the same time. If it makes sense, I will just keep it for storage and uh, incremental backups, so the backups will be done during night time. And so I will only use half of the storage in it seeing that half is backup. So yeah, uh, take care YouTube and please subscribe to me videos. Bye y'all.